We are the capital of Mediterranean cool. So that's a result of very, very hard work. We are doing our job. And we are trying to create a, a, a city that is a model for openness, pluralism, tolerance, art, culture, science, rational thinking, open to the world, a, a home and shelter for every minority. Tel Aviv is so gay that you don't need to be gay. I mean, you don't, you don't need to declare yourself as, as a gay um, uh, institution in order to actually attract gays. Um, you, don't, you won't see many gay bars in Tel Aviv or many gay restaurants or many gay flags in the street. You won't see too many. Uh, not because Tel Aviv is so um, conservative on the other way around. It's because Tel Aviv is so sophisticated and so advanced. You know, when you see some two, two guys walking hand in hand in the street, it's not an, it's not an issue anymore. No one will look back at you. It's, it's totally not an issue. So I think this is what differentiates us from everybody else. The government does co-opt the progress that happens in LGBT rights in order to try and portray Israel as liberal, democratic, and to deflect from other human rights violations. So I think there's a cooptation of the achievement that was uh, won with hard progress by the LGBT community for that purpose. <laughs> 